What is up, my fellow creepers? Welcome back to another episode of Creature of the Night. Today we will be discussing the 2005 adaption of the famous video game, Doom. Soldier, search and destroy. Target approaching. Reload. There's something coming up on you. Now, I know this uh, film got a lot of uh, blowback, you know, it really didn't follow to the to the game's, like, uh, explanation of how everything went down. Uh, it is starring uh, Carl Urban and uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. So, these uh, Marines are called on assignment to go to Olduvai, which is on Mars. And they have to go through the arc to uh, get there, to, to go planet to planet. And they are given an assignment to uh, actually recover uh, data from uh, this company that is uh, is working on Mars um, to recover uh, research, to recover the scientists and stuff like that. Well, as they get there, they just think it's just another assignment. Okay, I maybe an employee went crazy with the gun or something like that and just started killing people. They actually don't know what they're up against. Now, like I said, this the movie didn't really go with the game. Now, if you're familiar with the game, if you are you know a gamer in any way, you know that you are a marine. You played the, uh, a Doom Slayer who uh, who fights actual demons from hell that we open up a portal and it lets all these fucking creatures through and. It's up to this guy who is, who can carry unlimited amount of weaponry on him, and uh, he goes toe to toe with the devil a few times. And I believe uh, they did release uh, Doom Eternal now, and now he has the Doom Sword and stuff like that. So if you're familiar with it, you know what I'm talking about. Well, in this adaption, they they don't open up a portal necessarily and let all these shit through. Um, it's actually they they open up a portal in our mind now They find out that there was an actual colony on Mars and They were actually advancing the technology They're the ones who actually built the ark that can travel from galaxy to galaxy and they actually escape to earth and It comes to find out that they they made they bioengineered something that gave them that made them superhuman uh, uh, not a lot of people know or really care or research it, but I watch a lot of movies. That's why I'm, I'm not. Uh, I don't know everything, but I do get a lot of my information from movies. Hey, you know, it's the only education we got. So, but humans have uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes, and they do research on the skeletons that are actually found on Mars, and they actually had 24 pairs, and it's unclear what the 24 pair actually does. And it comes out, it actually gives them super strength, super speed. It makes them super intelligent. For the most part. Uh, but a lot of our mat, our brain is actually unmapped. We don't really know a lot about our brain or what some of the functions of our brain do. So some people believe that's actually the gateway to the soul. It's actually a way to tell what kind of a person, what kind of person and who they really are. And so this gene, half of the society, it made them super intelligent, made them average, it just, you know, gave them that extra boost. Simultaneously, the other half was turned literally into monsters. Did they have the super speed, the super strength, and probably super intelligence? Yes, but they went rabid. They became creatures. And now, again, another thing that's different, they're not demons from hell per se, but a demon nonetheless. But they don't really go with the the game and how they look. If you do side by side comparison, the very first person that's actually injected with this is an inmate. Wow, it's like yeah, that 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 screams the best idea ever, right? Um, an inmate who's committed multiple crimes, multiple murders, and oh, turns out he was actually evil. Hmm. Anyway, he turns into what we call a Hell Knight. I believe that's what it's called. I'm probably going to get butchered in the comments because I'm not sticking to it, but I believe it's called the Hell Knight. And he escapes from his prison cell and starts infecting other people. And how they infect people is they actually shoot this thing from their tongue. The tongue latches onto the neck and starts injecting this 23rd chromosome, and that's how it spreads. So the facility is under attack eventually, and it's up to these last remaining, the last remaining marines to get everybody out back to earth and clean up this mop up well it turns out like uh grim uh he play a uh, character reaper car urban he plays a, a character named reaper that is his code name in the squad 
Um, he gets injected with it too because he's severely injured and it turns out, you know, hey, he thought he was an evil person, but he's actually good and he has to go toe to toe with The Rock, uh, who actually turns out to be a psychopath, so he's turning into a creature. Would have loved to see him in his full demon mode, would have loved to see it. Again, I know a lot of people didn't like this movie. I thought it was pretty good because, you know, it does open up the window to the soul. Like, it shows, like, how men could be evil or, like, the sweetest person is actually the evilest person. You know, going with serial killers, you know, they look like everybody and they could be anybody. You could be talking to them on the subway and not even know it. And that's what I really liked about it. Again, I know, like, a lot of people didn't like it because it didn't really commit to the game. It, there was no portal opening. There was no actual demons, per se. But, you know, I, I go off of that saying, you know, hell is another, <clears throat> I'm sorry, earth is another form of hell and men is his demons. So I go off of that. But I highly recommend it. I thought it was very entertaining. We even get a glimpse into the first person shooter action that we're used to seeing in the game towards the end after he's injected with the chrom uh, 24th chromosome. It actually goes where he's checking his clip, going through the corridors and get, having things pop out of nowhere and it's even dark. Like uh, some of the like some of the Doom games, I thought it was very entertaining. It is, I believe, it is on Hulu right now, so I highly recommend it. Go check it out. Again, you know, I it's those people who are like, oh well, you know, they it's the same as the people where, oh, it wasn't like the book. They compared the movie to the book. You can't do it because it is somebody else's interpretation. I thought it was very entertaining. I th I got a kick out of it, and it seems like it goes off of like you know. Men are naturally evil, which is what I like. I like to play off of that, the whole spiritual aspect of movies. I love that. You know, love Constantine and all the whole heaven and hell thing. I love it. Um, but again, yes, I am a big fan of Doom. I love the games. I've played every single one of them. Well, take that back. I didn't play Eternal yet. Not yet. I'm on my way to getting it. But uh, I love them. I love they're very entertaining. It is a game, in my opinion, that you really don't have to think. You can just shoot them up as much as you want, you know. It's a, it's a very stress-free game, in my opinion, unless you play like on the harder modes and have never-ending waves of demons coming at you. But either way, to each his own. So yes, thank you for joining me again. More to come. I'm going to try to keep posting up frequently. I mean, hell, I'm stuck at home. Might as well do something, right? So till next time, guys, rock on.